India successfully conducted Mission Divyastra from the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha, showcasing the elite MIRV technology. India specifically chose its Agni 5 missile with a range of over 6,000 kilometers for the mission. Now, this is the first time New Delhi has publicly acknowledged having this technology. But what is Mission Divyastra? What does it represent? What is India preparing for? I'm Shivan Janna and this is India's Missile Game Plan. India's Defence Research and Development Organisation or DRDO successfully test-fired its Agni-5 nuclear missile with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle or MIRV technology. This is a technology which enables a single missile to deploy multiple nuclear warheads at different locations that can evade missile defence systems. The flight test was named Mission Devyastra and has catapulted India into a select group of nations who have this technology. Just one day before the Indian missile test, the Chinese spy ship Xiang Yang Hong 01 was seen entering the Bay of Bengal by our forces. The so-called research vessel was spotted just 480 kilometers off the coast of Vishakhapatnam. While the Chinese claim that this vessel is for research purposes, the timing of its entry and position made it amply clear that Beijing wanted a clear view of India's missile test. It's not just China, but global powers that had banned the use of MIRVs on Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles or ICBMs have also taken note of Mission Divyastra conducted by India. Nuclear scientists in the US expressed their insecurity soon after India acknowledged its new weapon capability. You see, India maintains a no first use policy when it comes to nuclear weapons. But the MIRV technology which India has now demonstrated is one which greatly increases one's first strike capability against an adversary's forces and the fact that India chose a nuclear missile to test it on, which can hit any target in China, speaks volumes. The Balakot airstrikes in 2019 proved how India would not back off from the prospect of offensive attacks to defend itself. With Mission Devyastra, we have once again seen India take a forward stance, declaring a boost to its strike-first capability. Now, it's not every day that the Indian leadership publicly acknowledges a new attack capability by India. But they did so with Mission Devyastra, as if they were sending out a clear message. But who was that message for? You see, of all the embassies that India has in countries around the world, one chose to reshare about India's new nuclear attack capability. This is a new and different India. A Bharat which replies in a language its adversaries understand. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.